The pressures of open source, the rapidly increasing innovation and quality of open source software, including on the operating system space, is eventually going to pressure Microsoft to open source their own products. It's not that they have bad products, right? They have fantastic products. They are the most popular in the world. But they can't compete with open source in the same way. They do now, and they do a great job of it. They're winning. You know, no one would say that Linux on the desktop is winning. Um, but it's not going to win. They're not going to win forever. And we saw the same thing in the CMS world in WordPress. There used to be a lot of systems. There used to be a lot of proprietary systems. And now they've either gone away or they're open sourcing, like Movable Type did. I mean, that's ultimately the only thing you can do. And when they do, the world will be a better place. Open source means a lot more than just a license. It's really about the community and everything like that. And that's not something that I don't even know if is possible for a company of that size to make the switch. Even Sun, which has been open sourcing and GPLing billions of dollars of R&D over the past few decades, isn't really open source in the sense that there's a lot of community development in MySQL, Solaris, really any of their products. But at least having the code out there enables things that could never be enabled before. And back to the freedoms, it'll increase the freedom in the world greatly. And I also think it'll sort of reinvigorate the Windows platform and the IAS platform and ASP.NET and all these other things. Some really phenomenal technologies, you know, will get sort of the, the fresh breath of open source development into them.